So we're here today to go over the basics of fringe benefits tax, or FBT for short. Fringe benefits tax is a tax on an employer or a business for the value of non-cash benefits provided to an employee. So a non-cash benefit could be a number of things. The common, most common one is a car, where the business provides a car to an employee. Employee drives around, takes it home, drives on the weekend, all that sort of stuff. Other examples of fringe benefits could be low interest loans, car parking if you work somewhere near the city, um, expense payments, gym memberships, life insurances, things like that. If all of that is paid for and provided by the employer, that's, that's FBT. Um, entertainment, meals, that sort of stuff can come under FBT. There's a whole raft of things, but essentially if you as an employee are getting a non-cash benefit, chances are your employer is supposed to pay tax on that. Now the FBT rules were brought in because in the absence of them, no one pays tax on the value of that benefit. So if you think about this, when an employee gets a non-cash benefit, such as a car, um, gym memberships, life insurances, all that sort of stuff I said before, they don't go on their group certificate, they don't have tax withheld, and they don't go on a tax return at the end of the year. So no one's paying tax on it because the business is getting a tax deduction for it and the employee is not paying any tax. Government doesn't like that situation very much, of course, so they levy the tax on the, on the employer or the business. Um, now, it's not the most efficient way of doing it. Um, I'm sure if people were redesigning the tax system from scratch, they wouldn't do it this way, but that's what we got and governments are too afraid to change too many tax things, so we're stuck with what we've got at the moment. One important point with the fringe benefits tax rules is the tax rate. FBT rate is 47%. It's a top tax rate plus Medicare levy. So when you are provided with a non-cash benefit, a fringe benefit, the business has to pay tax at 47% on that amount. And we're gonna go through shortly some examples and how, that, how that's all calculated. But for the moment, really important to know, given that top tax rate, it is inefficient to salary sacrifice for most things. Um, and it's generally only cars or other things that are either exempt or have a concession applied that it's worth salary sacrificing for. Um, otherwise, too much tax is being paid. 